speaking of, eat that food. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Branch Chronicles. Today, I get the privilege and the awesome opportunity to react to one of my favorite renditions of Jesus is a Love Song. In the previous video that I reacted to, requested by Armani, I kind of spoke about, you know, there's different versions of the song that Karen Clark shared, the awesome and amazing Karen Clark shared as cover that I absolutely love on the door. And this one in particular is one of my favorite renditions. We all know that she gives you new runs, new interpretations, new everything. And it's just insane. But this is one of my favorites. And I'm super excited to share that with you guys today. Personally requested by Rel. I'm just going to say Rel. I don't know how to say your full name um, or your first name, sir. But shout out to you. Uh, we're going to get into the video and get it started. And this is one of my favorite things. And it's so iconic because it's so iconic because she had found interesting ways to incorporate Adele's song. I just remember it known as Hello. But maybe I put the full actual song name right here. But I remember like the year that this song came out in particular, Karen found a way to incorporate it into her set list and into this um, opportunity where she was ministering Jesus is a love song. And it was so powerful and it was so cool. In addition to like her doing Jill's He Loves Me, which she remixed and covered and made it You Loved Me. And she did that with Kiki. So it was just like, oh shoot, like that's wild. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, oh snap. It's crazy good, crazy awesome, crazy cool. But enough about all that. Had to get that intro out because Karen Clark Sheard, we all know what she does. I love to say that she is one of the chapters in my vocal Bible. You know, everybody says Brandy's the vocal Bible, but there, it, there cannot be just one vocal Bible. I think in your vocal Bible, there's different chapters, huh? In the same way that the Bible, we have the gospel according to John, the gospel according to this, the gospel according. I think in the vocal Bible, there is a chapter the gospel according to Karen Clark Shear. I think there's the gospel according to Karen. I, 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 I wholeheartedly do, at least in mine's for sure. Mine's for sure. And you got a whole bunch of other people, but I think we all can admit that the gospel according to Karen in the vocal Bible, you need, you need to read up on it. You need to read up on it, amen? But moving on. <laughs> Come on, Karen. Take us in. You ready, y'all? One more time, rewind. Come on, Karen. Oh, 
Again, I don't know what verse that is. I don't know what verse that is in this book. It's a book. That's what it is, y'all. It's the book in the gospel, in the vocal Bible. That's what it is. I don't know what chapter that's in. Runs. That's the chapter. My bad. But it's just like that, that right there. That's why she's crazy. These trumpet inflections always bless my soul. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Y'all know we love Jill. This part right here remind me of Dorinda. That part always remind me of Dorinda. It's just like that inflection of her voice. But I always like to say this. I think that it's, it's impossible for these women, these four to five women, especially these four women in particular, to sing all these many years of their lives together and them not, you know, take different pieces of each other's style or sound and incorporate into their voice. And I think with Karen being the youngest, Karen Lily absorbed all of the talent and all of the stylistic approaches. And I think the two dominant ones that we see is we see Twinkie and we see Dorinda. But that's just my two cents. Hey, Miss, uh, if, she, if she was here, she would probably express herself and she'd probably say, Hello from the other side. Come on. I know I have. And you said, Where is God? Yeah. But somehow God will come in a little still voice. Look here. I'm happy. She's mastered the echo, y'all. Mastered it. Look how easy this is for her, effortless. master of echoes i don't know who thinks to take an echo and incorporate that into their live performance stuff and has mastered it none other than karen clark sheer it's unheard of that's ridiculous it's funny because i remember one time i literally just walked across campus this, i think it was shortly after no it could have been shortly after it was a little while after long enough after me coming to the Revelation who the Clark sisters were and even studying them individually. And I remember I was studying Karen and just finding out about this phenomenon, which is these echoes. And I literally, y'all, like, I promise you, like, I was walking across campus with my friend and we was, I wasn't even thinking about it, I wasn't even talking about them. I literally was so into these echoes. I literally tripped. I tripped you guys. I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was like, oh, what? It was like, who, what? what's wrong with you, bro? You got too much Clark sister in your system, too much Karen Clark, you just, you just, 
But she's so crazy, you guys. Direct, Karen, direct. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? This woman literally did a slide and then she did a high squall slash growl on that thing. It sounded like it could have been a squall. That woman. Can we go back? Let's go back. Let's hear it again. Here you go, y'all. Not like this. Da, 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 da. Like, how you gonna punch that drink? Da, da. Like, oh, <laughs> and it's just, woo! Anywho, only Karen Clark sheared, sheared, does stuff like that. Yep, 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 yep. So that's Karen Clark Shear singing Jesus' Love Song, y'all. That's my favorite rendition of the song. As we saw, she sang down. Echoes check, riffs check, runs check. Um, soprano high, just soprano high belts, just belts, full belts, check, all, everything. She just, did she, did she disappoint? Oh, okay, I don't think so. She didn't disappoint. She came through. She always comes through. She literally takes that song by storm every single time. And anytime she brings in echoes, it's just like, man. But I'm always a fan of when she chooses to minister the echo. Like, God may come to you in a still small voice. And I don't know about y'all. I never heard God echo to me. But, you know, I think that's something powerful to be said. That even that should be like your prayer. That will God will continue to reiterate to you the importance of it. You know, or whatever he's saying to you. Like, all you got to do is look, 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 look to the hills. Hills, 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 hills. And, like, that should be our meditation. That should be our heart posture. That should be what we focus on. <laughs> that should be what we focus on. Just studying to remember the Lord's voice and actively trying to seek him in every single thing. I love it. Here for it. If you got another Karen Clark Shear video you want me to react to. If you got another Clark Sister video that you want me to react to. If you got another gospel video you want me to react to. All three of them joints. Put them joints in the comments. I'm going to get to it as soon as possible. Um, I love you guys. As I always say, don't get bitter because life does get better. When your life is out of tune, Jesus is capable of putting it back in tune and getting you right where you need to be. Let his love be your melody and don't be nasty to nobody. You hear me? Don't be nasty to nobody. But let Jesus' love be reflected in your actions as well as in your heart. 
So until next time, you guys, I am out. I'm gone. Peace. Don't get bitter because life does get better. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear somebody say, why do you always say that? I always say that because I want to remind people that with Jesus, life always gets better. Even when situations and circumstances come up against you and it looks like you're not going to win. We know that we have the victory already because we know the end of the story. Right. So Jesus conquered it all. If Jesus has conquered death, hell and the grave, then there's no problem too big. There's nothing too difficult that God cannot solve. I love him. And even speaking about that, it reminds me of one of my favorite songs that Dorinda actually leads to. If you've never heard of it, is there's nothing too hard for God. That song ministers to me every single time. If you never heard of it, I would encourage you to listen to it. I'm going to put it in the description below. But I digress. I thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and all the things. Until next time, good people. I'm out for real. Bye.